Hi St. Paul families! We're excited to see so many, many of you starting this Sunday, September 13th. While having fun and learning about Jesus hasn't changed, there are a few new routines we need to have in place to keep us all safe and open. So this Sunday when you first come, the first thing you're going to do is check in with us outside right here. Now if you'll see right here, we have teens and kinder through grade three are going to be going on these two meter lines and waiting out on this side to check in up in our Sunday school space. Grades four through eight are going to be waiting on this side on these lines and over to check in right here in our main building to go to your class. Once you check in, or actually I'll show you the check in what's going to happen. So as your child comes up here, and on this side it would be with the parents for kindergarten through grade three, our staff member will give you hand sanitizer. If you're wearing a mask, make sure you have your mask on. Our grades four through teens all are required to have masks. Um, children grades three and under, parents, you can bring them with a the mask, but we are not requiring that they, that they have it on. Then we're also gonna be asking you some questions about how you're feeling and your temperature. And parents, if you forget to check your child's temperature before coming, that's okay. We also have a trigger thermometer here while we can do that right in line. Once your child is all checked in, we'll have a staff member here for our kindergarten to grade three to lead them up into their classroom. Unfortunately, parents can't come into the classrooms this year, but parents, if any of you want pictures of our classes, of the reconfigured space, you just let me know and I'm happy to bring that to you as well. Grades four through eight who are in the other building, they'll be able to walk to their class directly after check-in. They won't need someone to guide them in. And our teens are gonna be up here on the third floor and will be going in on, on their own as well. So after a great morning of fun and learning, we're gonna have teachers dismiss children directly into the fellowship hall. So what that will look like is after Bible study, we're gonna ask parents to line up. And you'll see there'll be two meter markers on this side of the fellowship hall, as well as two meter markers on the far other side of the fellowship hall. And parents will line up on those spots, and then teachers are gonna dismiss kids directly to these three different chairs that you see are marked in general for two-way traffic. And so once teachers have their classes at those chairs, children can then find their respective parent and um, you guys can then be dismissed together into what you're doing after Sunday school, which we will talk about. Parents, once you reconnect with your, with your children after Sunday school, you have two options as to what to do before um, church starts. The first is that if you see here, there are busy bags for each, family bags for each of our families. And inside you'll find, for younger kids, coloring books and crayons, for older children, um, activity books and colored pencils, along with hand sanitizer and a few other goodies in there. So once you grab those, you can head on up, and if you look here, you'll see arrows leading you up these, this side in order to get to church. And then when you're upstairs in church, if you need to come down for water or you need to use the bathroom, you can head down these other stairs and there's lots of arrows showing you to get down this direction. So that's the first option is to grab your family's busy bag and head on up and find your spot upstairs. The second option, especially if you have younger children who might have a lot of energy still after Sunday school, is to go on up this direction and then go through the exit doors and take a walk around the block. And we have hidden St. Paul treasure rocks throughout the, the block and we'll renew them each week. And you can see how many rocks you can find with your eyes only. And then after you get back from that, you can then join us up in the sanctuary. That's it. We hope this video helps you to get acquainted with our new Sunday morning routines. And we can't wait to share God's word with you this upcoming Sunday. Until then, bye-bye.